Hello everyone, Setnoblaster, and welcome back to episode number 17 of our Pokemon White Power Lock here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we had a super fun time balancing Team Plasma Grinding Charstone Cave, am I right, guys? Crickets, crickets, crickets. Anyways, guys, in today's episode, we will be finally getting out of this cave, and then heading over through Mr. to Mr. Alton's city, and surrounding areas, and doing stuff. <laughs> and doing stuff. So if you guys are hyped for some more white, definitely make sure you smash that like button down below for us, you all right now. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, that question today is nice and chilling in the, in the description. Feel free to answer it. Anyways, so let's get a quick team recap. Let's see what we are working with here. First off, we have adorable 30R naughty natured Lee Vanny. Holy Miracle Seed to have that rage leave. Also, can protect Bug Bite and return. Then we have Sheldon level 29, our Naughty Nature Tier 2 go home that quick because he's not that quick. Rocking Aquagad, Inky Power, Rock 2, and Wide Guard. Then we have Valentina level 30, our Shiny Nature. Shiny Nature? Hold on. <laughs> our Shiny Quiet Nature Swoobat. Holding the Amulet Coin to, do to double up them, Cassie Dallas. Rocking Confusion Attract, Air Cutter, and Calm Mind. Then we have Bacon level 30, our Pig Knight. Nice and Naughty Nature as well. Home the Avial Light to give him that little bit of extra bulk. Rocking Arm Thrust, Rock Tomb, Flame Charge, and Defense Curl. Then we have Liability, don't be a liability. Level 31, our Quiet Nature Kfeke Rock. Holding that Scope Lens to get them crits. Rocking Sand Attack, Rock Tomb, Bulldoze, and Assurance. And last but not least, we have Martina, level 30, our Lash Nature Shot Striker. Hold the lucky egg to get that bonus EXP. Also, because I pretty much know no better item to give her. Rocking quick attack, flame charge, thunder wave, and shock wave. Uh, I would put now. I would put Sheldon up from because he is our lowest level, and I need to try to repel. All right, stupendous. Hello, Boldor. Don't mind me, Boldor. I'm gonna deuce the fuck out. <laughs> I'm just going to deuce the fuck out. Do not mind me. Yeah, anyways, as I was saying, I would lead with, uh, Sheldon, but seeing as these Team Plasma Guards can have the finest of hacks on their side, I decided I'm going to lead with a Pokemon that can pretty much mollywop a lot of things. And let's just hope they don't have any more Scraggies with Swagger, right? <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and battle at you, because we kind of have to, as much as I hate to say it. Oh, Team Plasma, well, that has nothing to do with you. Damn. Well, I'm about to crush that hope, so... Bring it on, mother trucker. Team Plasma Grunt. Leader Lyford. Anyways, guys, um, what should I talk about? Should I talk about the fact that I have heard, thanks to the Cer thanks to Cerebi's Twitter, that there will be brand new Pokemon Sun Moon news coming on October 14th. In exactly nine days from today, and four days before the demo comes out, so that's fun. Right, guys? And you guys, by the way, I don't know if I said this in the last episode or not, but you guys can expect a... I don't know how long the demo's gonna be. So you can definitely expect at least at least one video on the demo. Because, you know, come on, it's the Sun Moon demo. How could I not do videos on it? Unless Pokemon Company International wants to be a dick and claim it. Because they did claim one of my reacting videos, fun fact. Which is why I pretty much... I don't think I'm gonna be doing many reacting videos. At least for Sun and Moon. I don't know, I might do one for, like, future games. I don't know. I do not know, but... I ain't recently, I mean, I know claims don't really, like, result in, like, much other than... Like, I've only got two videos claimed on my channel so far. One was when I tried to do an, a, uh, an LP of Mario & Luigi Paper Jam. Uh, way back a long time ago. Uh, I can't remember what Pokemon LP I was doing at the time, but... Anyways. The point is... That it, it got claimed for some music and other stuff, so I can't remember what the, uh, thing was. Though. I think they put, like... And they like, just, like, monetize, like, they put ads on it, I don't know. Um, but anyways, and then this one, the reaction video, got claimed, and so this time it got blocked worldwide, so no one at all could see it, so that was fun. So that's why I didn't really bother at all with doing one for the latest moon, sun moon news that was came out yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's probably why they're not gonna be many, many, many more reaction videos on the channel. I have no idea why, why I decided to block mine, but... Everyone else, I mean, I know Nappy had some problems with his, too, so I guess that's cool. And we just got a water stone from a random dust cloud that I didn't even see coming. Actually, I kind of want to go back, I think this is the correct way. So I kind of want to see what's down and chillin' over here. Maybe there's, like, an item we can get or something. 
Okay, I do not want to battle you. Can you look the other way, please? Look the other. Thank you. All right. Uh, fuck. I have to go back. I have to go back and. Can you move, please? Thank you. Can you move again? Move again. Thank you. Okay. Smack that right in the face. All right. Is there anything at all over here that was worth my time? Anything over here? Ooh, there's something. A bright powder. That could actually come in handy. I'm glad I came down here for that. I'm glad I came down here for that bright powder. Oh, I see another item. Ah, uh, there's another trainer. God, okay, I can skip you. Okay, thank you. Okay, what's this? A hyper potion? Okay. I'll take a hyper potion. Alright, what else is there? Is there something... Oh, gotta use a repel. Gotta use another mother stinking repel. That's, that is an ultra ball. I don't know why it defaulted to an ultra ball. When I have a super repel right there, but okay. Anyways, uh, slide on down here, and this item is a rare candy. I will take a rare candy, because maybe, you know, if you ever have a Pokemon that's close to evolving, then we can use that on them, or, you know, just make grinding easier, one of the two. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I still gotta make sure that you do not look at me when I pass by. Thank you. Oh, that's too close. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and slide on over here. And let's go ahead and get out of the cave. By the way, guys, just so you guys know, because I don't think I've told you guys this already, uh, I don't want to battle you. I also don't want to battle you, but there's probably something down there. There's an item down there. Fuck. I'll do that off screen. Oh, we got N. Uh, should we, should we still leave a door? I mean, I know she's gonna have. He, I know N's gonna have some Pokemon that can be found in Tarsum Cave, so what can he. He might have. He might have a Tynamo, a Clink, a Ferrothead, a Goltic, a Bulldor. Um, so, to deal with those five, I think my safest lead is probably Liability. Um, because. Or I could leave with Bacon. Because bacon, um, let's go with liability, why not? We haven't seen as much of liability as we have with bacon. And as I was just gonna say, um, this, uh, I'll talk after I finish doing this dialogue. Many different values mixed together, and the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. I see what you did there. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream, the dream that I must fulfill. Techno, do you have a dream of your own? I mean, I guess. I can't. You have a dream that's wonderful. I'll, I'll learn just what kind of dream you have in battle. Anyways, as I was gonna say, because we're actually going through this game quite quickly, quicker than I expected, to be honest, uh, what I'm gonna start doing is because I want, I don't want there to be like a huge gap between the the, the end of this and Sun and Moon. He leaves the boulder, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the series to a Monday through Friday basis, so there will not be weekend episodes. Alright, let's go for the bulldoze. See, this will be Monday through Friday, just so I can try to, like, not have this, like, giant gap between the finale of this and the start of Sun and Moon. Because then, like, because like, then, like, I'm worried it'll be a gap that's too small for me to start a new project, but still, at the same time, it's too big for, like, me to have nothing at all, so, yeah. Anyways, you can keep iron defense. Smackdown, we can eat that. We can eat that up. I don't know what you're doing. That actually did decent damage for resisted hit, but that's okay because one more bulldoze should take you out. You get out of here, Bulldor. I actually really like Bulldor in the entire line, especially our shiny. Bro, have you seen a shiny Gigalith? Yo, I'm going to sweep in with uh, Moxie Croc Rock. Wait, how many of does he have? He has four. Also, I'm kind of nervous about you having a bug type move, but I'm pretty sure I can handle it, so I'm gonna go for the Rock Tomb. Because it is plus one, and it's super effective, so it should definitely kill. Oh, no, it didn't kill. JK. Definitely okay. Bug Bite. Okay. We took it, we took it, we took it. Alright, uh, Bulldoze. Should take you out. Okay. Okay, I just didn't want to heal because I didn't want to take another Bug Bite. I'd rather heal up on something that I can... I'm more confident in being able to take a hit from. Ferrisseed. Uh, you're part of grass type. Uh, I know we're plus two, but the safe, the smarter thing is for me to switch into bacon. I mean, I know by flame cracking it, we're gonna get the, the iron, iron barbs damage, but metal claw, okay. So it doesn't really have to do anything. I was just fearing like something like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of grass it would we'd have. I don't even know what the one we caught had. Because <laughs> if you guys didn't, if you guys forgot what you did, you had to experience in the last episode. Which, honestly, I would rather have, like, a Joltic or a Tynamo, like, a backup of Electro type in case I have some Martina, but... Especially since Martina has not really been pulling her weight lately on the team. <sighs> oh, boy. Okay, and Clink is his last Pokemon, so he should be able to take it out just fine with Bacon. And, uh, yeah, have a nice and quick battle against N here. But, yeah. <clears throat> Charge Beam? Boy. <laughs> Yo, that. 
Honestly though, character, my favorite character animation, that, that animation was cool, don't get me wrong, but I, I still love the character animation in 4th gen, because it just looks so cool for 4th gen, it looks, like, it looks like, like one of the best, an, like, move animations with 4th gen graphics, I don't know. Did you say his friend's getting hurt is what a Pokemon battle is? <laughs> Why? Is it impossible for me to win while, being, while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue the strength, because something is meaningless of the battle. Did I say strength? I meant truth. I don't know how I read that as strength. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Oh my goodness, Techno! Yo, I actually really like end scene. Just a little further to Miss Charlton City! Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Techno's voice from that far away. I mean, it's a cave, so there might be echoes. Techno, who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon into the categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that? The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my, looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow Pokemon people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter what the Pokemon, no matter the, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer. I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. Oh, I guess Annie's just gonna do the fuck out. Later, Anne. Well, I didn't. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away. But I hope I spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think we'll go collect a little more data. For Pokemon people to get along better, we need to take steps to learn more about more about them. Oh my goodness! Uh, Techno, I'm gonna go with Professor Kinder because now, cause I'm now, the 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 the, now because I'm her bodyguard. Oh my god! 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 That's ironic because earlier in the game you had to have a bodyguard yourself when you were in Castelia City. <laughs> anyway, we made it to Mr. Ultimate City. I'm gonna go ahead and slide on into the Pokemon Center because we should heal up. In case you guys are wondering, I did go speak to, to that doctor off screen to heal my Pokemon because our Pokemon had took quite of a beating. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I know Adorbs, I know at least Adorbs was at, ha was at half health, so. Anyways, uh, do you guys sell, do you guys sell Quick Balls yet? Survey says. Nope, you sell the Weather Teams. All right. Stu fucking pet. Actually, we have some nuggets we can sell. And I'll do that off screen. Don't want to waste you guys' time. What the hell? Oh, it's Skyla and Cedric. Oh, guess I got a new, new, new voice. Ah, oh, hi, Techno, right? Let me see your Pokedex for a moment. What do we have here? I'm trying to imitate his voice from the anime in the slightest. So you found 64 Pokemon, eh? Saturn, you've seen a clink. You must be coming quite the You're becoming quite a trainer. Excuse me, I was a little excited and forgot my manners. My name is Juniper, too. Cedric Juniper. Ha, huh, the professor who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter. That girl told me a lot about you. It really makes my day to meet you. In honor of our meeting, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. Swag, bitch. This is, this is one of those useless updates, like, uh... We had in uh, Pokemon Pearl. Some Pokemon can ask forms, even when it's the same individual. If you already seen a form, you can take it, with, take it with us whenever you want. Wait, does that count shiny Pokemon? I also had a function of searching this year. <clears throat> Professor, who's that trainer? Oh, I forgot my introduction. Skylight is a friend of my daughter's. Techno is traveling around the universe to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see something to be coming in the gym. Oh, boy, I'm really looking forward to it. That's right, Techno, you should sound like I feel like you could sh Skylight a different voice, but whatever. If nothing else, this game is really out there. See you, Skylight. If, if anything comes up, I'll let you know. Professor, my plane is a cargo plane. Carries the cargo, not people. And you're talking to places I can't do anything right around the corner. Ah, oh, Skylight, if you keep frowning, you'll freeze my freeze like that, and it'll be a shame. Are you hitting, <laughs> Are you hitting on her? Paper and Pokemon, we all have to help each other out. See you later. Oh, see ya. See ya, dude. Sheesh, it's hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that could be a world-renowned Pokemon professor. Hands up, Techno. As a commuter, I'd be happy to have you climb the gym, but there's something I need to take care of first. Just now, as I was flying the, as I was flying the cargo plane, I saw something on top of the Celestial Tower. I'm sure it's a sick Pokemon. If it is, I can't just leave it there. I have to look into this right away. I'm, looking for, I'm, I'm leaving for Route 7 Celestial Tower. You can come along if you want. I will gladly come along because... Well, be, first of all, because I have to. And second of all, because there's a Pokemon there that I would really like to capture. Also, just so you guys know, this is not a trainer, but rather a someone that gives you something not good. Charge beam. Charge beam is decent. And also, we can use it in the power lock because it is that nice and base 50 powers. 
All right, who can we take it to, though? Who can we take it to? We can take it to Valentino. I don't know. I'll hold off on, I'll hold off on that for now. Let me, let me know in the comments section below. We can also take it to Martina, but honestly, I feel better with Shockwave. Actually, this is a new route, so we can get a new, we can get a new encounter. Oh, first blood across. All right, survey says... Actually, that's, um, that's Species, because we have, uh, Patrat in the PC. I was, I was about to be, like, really disappointed, but I was like, no, that's Species, gay, fucking gay! Jokes on you, Walkhog, because you are invoking the finest of Species Claws. Alright, is this gonna be something new? That's also do that's also Species, because we have a P-Death in the PC. We're gonna get nothing but Species Claws, come on now. Come on now. I would like something that, actually, I should put Martina up front, because... That way we don't have to switch into sign to immediately, uh, we don't have to switch into sign to, um, Thunder Wave it and then try to attack it. I'll find an Ultra Ball. That'll come in handy for if we ever do catch a po find a Pokemon that isn't Species Claws. Oh boy. Uh, another fucking Walkhog. Alright. There's all- That cannot be- That cannot possibly be all that's on the tree. Just Walkhog and Tranquils. There's gotta be something else here. There has to be something else here. Something- Something decent. Something new. Deerling, all right, second chances. I'm actually, I'm actually okay with that, even though we already have like two backup grass types in the PC. But all right, and right, Slender Wave, you paralyze you, Martina. This is your chance to redeem yourself. God damn it! <laughs> Take down. Oh boy, that's going to. Okay, that doesn't do too much. Um, let's shockwave you because that's, because that's resisted, and you no longer have the scope lens, so you should not get crits as easily. Okay, 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 okay. Faint attack. Okay, okay, we can take that. We can eat that up. Alright, we should be able to go for another shockwave and put you into a good range. Martina, I swear to god, if you crit this thing. Okay, alright, take down, that's gonna, that's fine. Uh, that's actually not fine, that does a little bit, uh, a little bit too much damage for my taste. We only have 10 lemonade left, Jesus. I need a hyper potion, and then I can go ahead and start throwing balls at this deerling. Okay, you're paralyzed. I should be able to catch this thing, honestly, because it's paralyzed, it's pretty low HP. Uh, what kind of ball do we want to use? Let's just use an Ultra Ball. We have 20 Ultra Balls, so let's go ahead and use one. Hopefully we can catch this Deerling with the greatest of these. One. Two. Three. Yee boy. Alright, so Deerling is our Route 7 encounter. So that's not too terrible. We got Redemption, we got Redemption. The turning of the seasons changes the color and scent of this Pokemon's fur. People use it to mark the seasons. Alright, now what do I name a deerling? Um, I could go, I don't, I don't want to go stereotypical and name it Bambi, besides male. Um, I should name it, this might sound a little bit more cheesy. Well, it might sound a little bit, uh, I don't know. Actually, no, I'm going to put a spin on it. I'm not going to name it, I'm going to, I'm just going to name it Blitz. I'm not going to name it Blitzen. Or whatever it is. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. I feel like if, and he was looking at us, okay, I, I was gonna say, I feel like if, uh, S if Santa existed in the Pokemon world, he would have, like, a, a team of Sawsbucks to carry him through. A team of, like, winter form Sawsbucks. Alright, what do you have, boy? That's my best impression of Palpatone, I'm sorry, I failed you all. Uh, alright, you can, can, um, Say hello to my, uh, my, my good buddy Adorbs. Say hello to my good buddy Adorbs. Uproar? Boy. I like the sound that makes, though. Makes a funny sound. Alright, Razor Leaf. You are dead. I don't care what you say. It's Miracle Seed boosted, quad effective, stab. Get out of here. <laughs> that was a crit, too. Crit clearly mattered. Come on, now. Crit clearly mattered. Oh, Skola motherfucking peed. Alright, then. That's kind of scary. Um, let's go ahead and swap out into Bacon, I guess. Like, I could have also gone into, uh, Valentino, but I, th I feel like Bacon can handle this thing. I think Bacon can handle this thing. I think Bacon can handle it. Bug Bite? Yeah, we can eat that up. That's like... I don't know if Fighting Resist Bug. I think it does, yeah. It's quad resisted. Catch a Flame Charge. Venishock? I'm not poisoned, so that's not gonna do as much as it normally would. If I was poisoned, that would be quite scary indeed. That's gonna do nothing. That's gonna do nothing at all. Meanwhile, that's going to do quite a lot, and we might just have speed you next turn, because you do not have speed boost, because I think that's your hidden ability. Oh, you still have speed, that's alright. Well, that's quad resisted. You, be you would be better off going for Venishock. I mean, you tried to get a crit Venishock, and done more damage to me than... I don't know. Nice, get out of here, Scolipede. I was, a little, I was a, little, a little bit scared at first, but... Oh, poison point. 
Yo, you know what would have been wild? If I had flame charged him, got, he would have gotten a poison point and then he would have venom shocked me. That would have been wild. That would have been scary too. Uh, helping hand? No. 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 A helmet? I can take on a helmet. I can take on a helmet. Poisoned as I am. Hold a sling charge for me. If only Pig Knight had guts. If only Pig Knight had guts. <laughs> this would be a dead ass helmet. But no. But no. Mega Drain? Boy. You clearly don't know type, type, type uh, advantages and disadvantages. Alright, so... One more flame charge, and you are dead. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of, get out of, get out of here. Is that going to be a level up? Not quite. Alright, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and heal up Bacon, and we shall proceed onward. Because, well, while I could not, while I could end off the episode here, there are a couple of more things I would like to try to do in today's episode. Alright, we have some antidotes. Let's go ahead and antidote Bacon. And let's go ahead and lemonade Bacon. I'm going to need to buy some more uh, healing items on screen. I'll, I'll try to go back somewhere and buy some uh, lemonades if I can. Uh, I'd also like to spray a repel because we're going to have to go through some, we're going to trudge through some tall grass to get to where we want to be. All right, and I would like to not try to try and not battle you. Thank you very, very much. All right, uh, I also like to try and not battle you. Or, ugh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I just scratched my nose. Sorry. All right, um, we. All right, Pokemon Ranger Mary of three Pokemon. All right, you have a Slot Loon. Uh, who am I leading with? Martina. Okay, okay, okay. We can flame charge you. We can flame charge the fuck out of you. You're level 30, though. That's kind of scary. I might need to do some grinding. I'm definitely going to need to do some grinding before the gym, so off screen I'll probably do some grinding. Uh, again, it's because I know I know between Charchon Cave and this route. Oh, God. Okay. All right, catch this quick attack. Protect. Oh, you sneaky little bitch. Okay. Anyways, uh, between uh, the, the past few routes, I know we've missed quite a few trainers, so I'm going to use them for grinding. And, uh, yeah, and also probably some... People in uh, Celestial Tower. I don't know. We'll, do, we'll be able to battle some people in Celestial Tower probably in the next episode. Stomp? Uh, no. I mean, Stomp is a good move because it can flink and all, but at the same time... Okay, you have a semi, semi poor. Um... I don't... I, I don't think a Shockwave... One Shockwave is going to kill you. So I'm going to go ahead and heal at Martina first. Because I know that you, you guys can have Scald, and I'm not trying to mess around with Scald. There's Scald, okay. How much I can do? Would that have killed us? Would it have done more than 47 HP? Yes, it would have. Um, adorbs. And if you have ice, ice beam, I'm gonna shoot myself. All right, adorbs. Scald, we can eat that up. We can eat that up. We can eat that up. Don't burn me. Thank you. Hold this razor leaf. That's miracle seed boosted. Please get out. Please get out. Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, who else is there? Tranquil. God damn it, you're gonna make me slip out again. Uh, let's go into... Sheldon. I would go into, uh, Martina, but Martina's kinda low on health. So let's go into Sheldon, and Rock Tomb you. Or Ancient Power, whichever works. I think we have a higher attack, because we're naughty, so... Let's go ahead and Rock Tomb you. Air Cutter, we can eat that up. We can eat that up. Hold it. Uh, and of course we miss! Because that would be my luck, right? Det Fuck off. Kindly fu taunt. I was not gonna go for wide guard. Chill. Chill. I was not gonna go for wide guard. Please do. Okay. Okay, I think we're I think we're not gonna get killing range. I think we're not gonna get killing range. I think we are not gonna get killing range. Please get out, Tranquil. Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of get out of get out of here. Oh boy, okay. Alright, you're gonna give me an Aspir Berry. Okay, an Asp Aspir, Aspir, I don't know. Alright, what's this item? A PP Up, that might come in handy. I can use a PP Up. Um, should we go ahead and explore over here? I think we should. Oh.
Damn right it doesn't affect me, bitch. <laughs> bitch, do I look like I care? Nope. Get out of here, Slothus. Get the fuck out. Moxie. I actually really like this, uh, this fucking rock. Moxie is coming through. I love Moxie. Moxie is such a good ability. Dig. As much as I would love to get Dig, I cannot use it in a power lock, which is unfortunate as, uh, indeed, as you have an Axew. Okay. Okay, Axew. I must ask you a question or shall I save it for later? I don't know. If only there was a save it for later pun I can make, like, you know, the, the mustache. But shall I save it for later? You have Dragon Claw. Ah, uh, okay, that's kind of scary. But Bulldoze should kill. So, get out of here, ask you. And, uh, yeah, get Molly Wapped, bitch. <laughs> get Molly Wapped, bitch. Bitch, do I look like I care. All I wanted to do was get an item that I knew that I know is over here. I don't give a fuck about your ass, Peter Berry. Freeze is like one of the least common status elements ever because there's no way to guarantee you'd freeze someone. If there was, that would be broken as hell as we get a max ether. All right then. All right, so we're, we're, we're here in front of Celestial Tower, and I think right here is the good spot I think to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, definitely make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you all right know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm gonna get about. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. I'm out this bitch. Peace!